hello guys welcome to the online attitudes.com my name is asif ali in this video i'm going to show you how to connect login form with database in php and mysql so this is a login form i have designed so i use this form to uh, connect the mysql database so this is a very simple uh, code of html documents i have read in previous lecture so in this video I'm going to show you how to link up with database to uh, in the text boxes like this and this. So there are very simple process to connect the SQL server and make a login form with database. So first step you need to this is a very basic syntax of uh, HTML document and I have basically used the um, style sheet to design the login form so we will use um, PHP to link up with database okay so let's start it this is a form tag after the closing form tag uh, before the closing uh, form tag I use the method post and then action I just write the hash sign because I want to the display any message on this page right so I just write hash sign then the first input text box name is username and second text box name is password right we will get the value uh, with the help of name username and password okay so let's get started to the use PHP okay first step we need to connect the SQL uh, PHP and MySQL I so I use uh, variable first host and I use local host and second is user username is um, root and then uh, password empty and uh, fourth I declare DB and I use demo we will, uh, we will create the demo database but this time I have made so the next step we need to use the database so I go to my PHP my admin uh, panel database so I use new key, uh, click on new and create the database like demo and then I create the table uh, table name I use login form and enter the column three columns first column is um, ID primary key identity we will use and second column name is um, username and third password so we need to three columns so I use three columns and click OK so I use first ID and uh, second user and third password first is, is integer second is a virtual and third is a virtual type right so I enter the range 50 and 50 username and password I range in the 50 range right and then I scroll here and then I use primary key identity to first column integer right okay save the file database and here you can see it, the database has made on the uh, PHP my admin panel so the next step you need to go on insert into the record so I use simply in admin and admin admin username and admin password simple click go okay and then I use select statement and check the record here you can see the first column name is um, number is one and username is user column is admin and password column is admin right then we will use them on PHP so let's open the uh, editor then I use first my SQL underscore connect 
and I use the variables copy it and paste here and dollar underscore user dollar underscore password right then I use the database so I call mysql underscore select underscore db okay and uh, pass this variable on here then we will use if statement to check the first text box value if this text box is empty so I use single commas and copy the first text box uh, name values so paste here after the parenthesis you need to write scale brackets and press enter then we need to get the this text box and the password text box values so we need to create the variable u name and uh, I assign the dollar underscore post and first text box name is username and second text box name is password right then we will use the SQL will use the query and assign this variable so I just declare variable and assign the variable uh, query select static from my database name uh, my table name is login okay okay my check I check the uh, column names select static from my database name my database name is uh, uh, login uh, login form okay login form okay login form and then I use where keyword then I select first column name second column name user and uh, use a sign equal sign and select use a uh, single commas double commas and dot dot sign and assign the first variable on here copy it and paste it then uh, after the last comma you need to write end keyword and then you need to write again second column name my second column name my second column database name is a uh, password pass and assign the second variable here copy it and paste it then after the single comma you need to write the limit of the database column uh, values rows values right then terminate sign okay then we will use uh, create the another variable and uh, use mysql query and assign this variable on here right okay we will use the if statement to check the record uh, check the database rows available or not so I use mysql underscore num underscore rows and uh, parenthesis and assign this variable on here and use double equal sign and one if the this query basically the, this is a, uh, a variable after running the query the value assigned on this variable then I di pass this variable on skill query using this variable and I use this variable on here if this variable value equal uh, one then um, use this portion you have successfully 
log logged in right and I call exit function after these key brackets we need to write else command and then we need to if any person uh, I mean uh, data doesn't match in the text boxes with my, our database then call else statement you have enter incorrect password right and I use again exit uh, function so let's check it so my username value is pa admin and password value is admin so let's check it I refresh the page I uh, set on an exception null not equal inserted uh, where is the error set why okay I don't uh, use the post because why set set uh, user name and then I check uh, where is a uh, error mm, I think uh, okay here I do not use the dollar underscore post to get the data uh, using text boxes so uh, let's check it okay here you can see it the form is displayed as well so let's check it I enter any wrong information for example admin and I enter the password 12345 then I click login you have entered incorrect password so let's check again I enter the pass uh, username admin and enter the password admin again and click login then you can see here you have successfully logged in so this is a very simple video about the login form so i hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in next lecture or next video